Well, let's take this opportunity to actually take a question from our patron, Leon Stavronakis, which ties into this discussion. Then also, it's a good transition to talk about Mendy more. Leon says, I was hoping Zidane would play Marcelo with three center backs to let him focus on attack and maintain strength in the back. I never thought he would be, he would uh, do it, to be honest, but I'm so glad he did. Wondering if you think this is something we might see more of, or was it just a function of the injuries and the absence of Cruz? Also, what do you think of Mendy as a center back? So I think we already answered kind of whether we're going to see more of it, which is probably no, right? Like once Kroos comes back, you know, it's going to be different, right? And then once our wing options come back, like it's just not the optimal way to use them. Like maybe we might see one or two more times, but I just don't see this happening on many more occasions. In in terms of what else should I answer? Okay, in terms of I'll go to Mendy as a center back, and yeah. I guess you can come back to any other points about this question you want to answer. This was my favorite part about what was done. I wasn't super high on this whole Marcelo thing in terms of like how he was being used. I don't know. Again, like I mean, same issue with Casemiro being deployed so aggressively, but Mendy as a left center back, when I figured out the first five minutes what everything was, I was a bit excited to see that because you and, and you and I were having a little bit of a discussion about it. I think on the ball, this might be Mendy's best role because here's the thing, like we always want to like be, I think super reductive in player conversations because not everyone has like the goddamn time to spend like five minutes saying, okay, well here are the nuances. And so you just want like, is this person good on the ball or are they bad on the ball? And I, I totally understand that. I sympathize with that, but I just don't think that works with Furlan Mendy because I think he's good on the ball in some contexts and I think he's bad on the ball in some contexts. And so if we look at what his role with Leon was before Real Madrid signed him, of course, he was playing inverted quite a bit, getting to face goal, his body orientation, facing goal, everything kind of going forward, never really having to deal with anything with with the touchline kind of being a defender like that the opposition team can use to kind of hem him in there. And, you know, we sort of seen Mendy play that a little bit with Zidane, but not quite to the same extent in terms of him facing play with that position. When Zidane has used Mendy inverted, it's normally been him being like very high up the pitch and receiving with back to goal, which, you know, I don't I don't know if that's really his thing. What this center back role did was I think it kind of, you know, took him back to his Leon days, but you know, to, to, to an even more extreme, right? Because he's playing in a deeper position where he could do what he was best at, which was face goal and look up, play forward passes, especially, and there was no press either. So that suited him even more. And he had space to attack from deep, right? We're playing, you know, a two up front kind of defensive structure and he could just run forward, run forward, run forward, wait for someone to press him and then make a play, which is how we ended up creating the second goal. In fact, I'm really glad we ended up creating the second goal that way because I think, you know, there's some people who just won't see the value of anything until there's like something like a super concrete behind it. And I think Mendy's, you know, willingness and his ability as a ball carrier coming from deep areas was really critical in kind of like forcing Hitafi to make a bunch of decisions, commit, overcommit, open up space. And then we ended up creating that goal. Like that's what Mendy is good at to me. If you ask me, well, what is he good at on the ball? I think facing play, like being able to see the entirety of it, facing goal, he's good at making forward passes. And he, as we've known from last season, he's a strong ball carrier, which is how he actually racks up good, good looking dribbling numbers, despite you not like thinking, despite not really seeing him being amazing in close control. So what is he bad at? And why has he come under fire? I think he is not good on the ball when he's playing on the touchline in his own half and his body orientation is facing the opposite flank where, you know, he's being pressed, he's having to turn inside. And then all of a sudden, you know, either he's trying to play with the outside of his boot, outside of his boot, sorry, or he's having to like start playing, you know, with his right foot. And that's when things become really, if even in this game, there was one switch. I think the one time he, he, he kind of played a weird pass where he cut inside and tried to play a switch with his right foot. He just completely slipped and somehow it ended up, you know, being fine and it went to the went to the teammate and was completed but that's where Mendy I think struggles on the ball I think teams have more and more been able to see that and so like over time Real Madrid fans have gotten frustrated with him and it's like 
you know, you know, it's it feels like such a downgrade on Marcel. And then obviously he has like his final third issues. But I'm more kind of referring to to his role on ball and build up. And so in this left center back role, I think what actually happened was you highlighted Mendy's best qualities, took him away from a situation where he struggles because Vinicius was the one receiving on the touchline and then Marcelo as well whenever he went outside. And you just allowed Mendy to do what he was good at in the build up phase. And so maybe there's a case to be made that defensively he, he might be found out like, you know, defensively as a left back is what he's best at. But for the context of this game where he didn't really have to defend, where everything was his on ball role, I really quite liked it. And if we are going to do this kind of, you know, system sometime in the future, I think Zidane might be like, Hmm, do I trust Militao? I think I might go Ramos and Veron Mendy depending on whether I feel I need like an offensive option at left back. So that was an extremely long take on one thing that happened in the game. But is there anything I didn't cover that you, that you want to talk about with Mendy as a center back? No, but I will double down on a, on a bunch of things you said. I, th- I thought you made a lot of interesting points. So you mentioned, you know, Mendy racks up a lot of dribbles completed numbers because of his ball carrying. And I think like fitting enough in this game, he had three completed dribbles and really some good balling, ball carrying sequences. And that goal he scored was, I mean, it was just the, just epitomizes how devastating he can be offensively with his runs. I mean, he, he brings the ball forward and then he sprints like a madman to the near post and scores with his right foot. And that's an unlikely source of offense, obviously, but it does give you flashbacks of what he did in the classical last season, for example. He has those spurts. He hasn't shown it that much this season. Um, so it's nice to see him get back on track. He also had, and this, and I wonder how much this ties into the point about he is a left center back and doesn't get pressed the same way he would on the flanks. And, and, and you're right about kind of when he gets forced on the switches because one of the things he does when he gets into that situation where he gets the ball on the left and he gets um, he gets hounded and he's forced to switch it. And by the way, force to switch is, is um, it's still not a force. I mean, you could ultimately just kick the ball out of bounds on your side or, or kick it up the field. But he does this thing where he cuts it to his right foot and tries to switch it with his weak foot. And it's almost always disastrous. So you avoid being in those scenarios because you're actually uh, playing in this position where you're a little bit deeper. It kind of reminds me of Vallejo at Frankfurt, actually, where he just gets the mm-hmm. ball in those positions. Yeah. He can either carry the ball or play a vertical pass or carry, or do something, and he's not um, that bothered by it. So in this game, he had 97.6% passing accuracy, the highest of any starter. Five of five long balls, that's encouraging too. Um, and just, I, I think he was, he won that official man of the match thing that's given out, um, which obviously is incredibly important. But uh, I thought he actually really deserved it. He he played really well. I do wonder. So dear, dear, this is my way of pushing back, or at least providing an, a different angle to this. Um, he obviously had two two sequences, which were, and this is kind of the good and bad with Mendy. Like he will ultimately, no matter how how much you can avoid putting him in that position, he'll have moments like this where one he had he had one se- sequence where he tried to carry the ball. And he had his touch was a little bit too heavy, and he ended up fouling to compensate and losing it. Another one was that, that hilarious one where he it, he just stops it with his back, but not in the majestic Ronaldinho way. But it just kind of he slips and it hit his it hits his kind of his hip. Remember that? Um, and that was nearly <laughs> a very disastrous play. And the other one, a little bit low key, but there was a there was a phase where it, when after Bordelas made those three subs. And, and, or maybe not borderless directly who was in the stands, but what but you get my point. But when Kubo came on, they started to hound a little bit and press a little bit high on the left side, and, and Mendy was uncomfortable. And again, this was like not a long thing. It was like a couple minutes of, of this happening, and, and it, we didn't really see that happen again. But I do wonder, again, does a team who presses a little bit higher... um. Will he will he still be as comfortable in that in that left center back position? No, I don't think he will. I, I think I think because all you're doing right is you're enhancing certain qualities and 
you know, hiding others or other deficiencies, but they don't go away. And as if as a defensive team, you look to kind of counter that and go back to highlighting the deficiencies and kind of, you know, stunting the qualities, then those will come into play. Now, if you're high pressing, I think Mendy's passing will still be generally fine, like because he he's still going to get to face goal and you know his his body orientation does means that he can generally avoid kind of going to that right foot but when you press him that's when the close control kind of thing comes into play and Mendy's first instinct is always to beat his man take this massive first touch and then use his pace or his acceleration rather to get to it and then take another big touch right to, to to beat the next man and if the pressing is tight enough right he can end up just kind of running into trouble there and that's kind of where I just think maybe it's still a little better at the center back position because he just really will, can always just keep going outside, right? There's space for him to dribble outside onto his left foot. But if it, it, it's only so much of an improvement. So I'm not going to go out and, and say that based off this game that Mendy is just this elite ball progressor from the center back position, both and also like elite at retaining the ball against the press. I think he's solid. I think he's better on the ball and build up than he is at a left back position this position but he's no near like a Sergio Ramos level to kind of put it into context right with Ramos being like probably the best you know from the left center back position on the ball in the world right now and so I think Mendy is like solid there but not amazing and there there would still be things to exploit if I'm an opposition coach like I would very much press him hard wait for him to receive the ball and then go for him and look to make him dribble out of situations while also like being being careful that like okay Mendy still has that vertical pass in him. I mean I don't know if that makes sense to you but that's kind of where where I'd see like yeah that's where it kind of wouldn't be perfect.